The groom said this earlier in the wedding day. Anything you want to say to your future bride? I hope we have a lot of sex. A lot. I should have known his vows were going to go like this. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Only two things are required to keep me happy. Keep my belly full and my balls empty. Uh, that's only the beginning of what I would argue is one of the worst wedding vows of all time. Uh, that would not be a controversial position. Um, at the end, I'm gonna hand out pardons, okay? Okay, but like, I don't think there's any context where the phrase drained balls is okay. No. Like, even as I'm saying it, to cite something that's inappropriate. I, no, I, there's a context of like a comedy sketch, a stand up. No, right? I ban it. Okay, she's banned it, so it's already over. But uh, but definitely not wedding vows. Oh my God. Okay, wait till you hear the rest of it. And wait till you find out here, I'm gonna tell you now. The mom is the efficient. Oh God. By the way, the uh, bride defends him, wait till we get to that. I mean, she should. That's your husband. Well, let's let's okay. Yeah, I hear okay, you. Let's, yeah, no, let's, I, you let's let him see. All right. So, uh, by the way, real quick, some context. The names of the lucky couple are Destiny and Michael Lentini. We do have more video. Let's watch. Since the day we started talking, after falling through my bedroom window, within minutes I could tell you were the one for me. Then, as time went on and I was falling deeper in love with you, I was and always will be one of the easiest people to please. Only two things are required to keep me happy, keep my belly full and my balls empty. Oh my well, you're amazing at half of it, we really need to get you some cooking lessons. <laughs> Even when my belly isn't full, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime, unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. Since the beginning, I was always told, I always told you I was going to make you the happiest woman in the world and give you everything I could possibly give. Well, today I'm taking a step further and giving you my last name, the last name of champions. <laughs> no one deserves it more. With you and the girls by my side, I feel like I can conquer anything. Y'all make life worth living, giving every breath of every day a purpose. Life gets even better when the kids fall asleep and you tell me to come to the bedroom. <laughs> Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. Mm-mm. So, so his mom is the, uh, so her mom was officiating the wedding as Jenk uh, mentioned earlier. No, his no, mom. No, his mom, Oh my God. Well, you know what? You must be proud. You must be proud, mom. Look at the kind of son you raised, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, we, I've got pardons coming up later, but let's watch more video. All right. Everyone keeps telling me that marriage is going to ruin a lot of things, but I feel that's only if you let it. Even if we fight, argue, or don't see eye to eye on something, it'll never affect the way I love you. Marriage is something I take seriously and I only want to do once. After almost 10 years, I still stand by the fact that you're my soulmate and it'll never change. After today, the only thing changing is me having to deal with the ring on my finger. You will forever have my heart and that's a promise till death do we part. P.S. Since you're so good at making decisions like marrying me, you can choose whether tonight's gonna end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm speechless. So <laughs> being that I am his mom, I will deal with him later. He is grounded, by all means. So, I. Don't know what the toaster strudel Twinkie thing means. Does anyone uh, know? I, I don't know. I sort of like they're uh, having some wild sex. That's that's all I know. Okay, hey, get it. Okay, God bless. Uh, she had like a very moving, emotional uh, vow to yeah. him, so it's totally out of place. Like this is totally out of the blue. We do have a video of that. Do you want to yeah, watch that? Let's yeah. watch a clip of and let's compare his vows to her vows. My knight in shining armor, my best friend, my biggest pain in the ass. Our adventure started a little shy of 10 years ago. And in that 10 years, we have already accomplished so much together and created a beautiful life. When I met you in school, I started crushing on you, but I didn't dare let it be known because I thought you were too good for me. 
So I let it go. If they say if you truly love someone or something, let it go. And if it comes back to you, then it was meant to be. Now here you are standing in front of me on our wedding day. I'm more than thankful for every day with you. You have completely stolen my heart and I honestly never want you to give it back. You are one of the most selfless, funniest, caring people I have ever met, not to mention very accident prone. <laughs> We've created two of the most beautiful girls in this world together. We bought our first house. We've made it through the rough times and the good times. And since I have you, I know we will always make it through. Thank you for choosing me to create your life with. I know I'm no model, by far not a good cook, unless you want soggy meatloaf. <laughs> and as we all know, I'm the real sleeping beauty with a temper. But thank you for loving me still. I love you so much, Michael John Lentini, and I promise to choose you every day for the rest of my life and beyond that. Very sweet. Uh, the only thing that, well, a few things stood out to me, but I'm gonna mention one of them now. You thought he was too good for you, really? I mean, I yeah, mean, look, she, yeah, nothing against him, but like, why? Why did she think that? We don't know, so that's gonna lead to my pardon. So, look, uh, she uh, says on a couple of occasions, including the video she did after their wedding, after this became a big brouhaha, uh, that uh, she, she's grateful that uh, that he picked her and that people won't understand why she's so lucky to have him. And but there's two possibilities there. One is. He's hoodwinked her and she thinks all these things about herself and how she's lucky to have him when it ain't the case at all, right? But there's also a possibility that there's tons of things we don't know. We don't know about the relationship. No, we know everything. <laughs> That's my point. No, guys, like everybody's not saying, oh, it's a toxic relationship. You gotta get out of it. It's terrible, blah, blah, blah. No, you get, don't know. You don't know. You don't their balls, like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> no pun. Um, no, but seriously, like, we don't know anything about their dynamic, their relationship. They might have a wonderful relationship. I don't. If the vows make her happy and she has a good sense of humor about it, great. And it seems like she does. She defended him later. Look, in the grand scheme of things, I don't care, right? I don't care at all, and we shouldn't pass judgment. I just wish he didn't mention the thing about. Not only that, I watched the whole thing. He he later talked about whether the headboard was banging. Okay, yeah. it's uncomfortable. Okay, and then he said, or whether you hear the sound of gagging. I'm like no, yeah, it was no, too much. No. By the way, I I like to keep it a little naughty, right? It's okay, a little yeah. little naughty is okay, but it was too much. Like was, the gagging and the balls and like it. Come on. No, he slipped over from naughty to uh, repulsive. Like it was yes, too, that's it was right. Much. Okay, so you got to know where the line was, and he didn't know where the lines. But guys, they're civilians. They're not like <laughs> they're not politicians. They're not going to change your lives. They're not media figures. They're not important, right? <laughs> yes. So like it's like an amusing little distraction for all of us, yeah. and we appreciate that he brought a little bit of uh, you know. Controversy to our lives that we could have a little soap opera over. Yeah, I love right? it. But don't go around like hating them and make trying to make sure why? they get divorced. Yeah, they got why would kids. You? Leave them alone. Don't be crazy. And by the way, maybe she loves his humor, and his humor is not for us necessarily in that context, right? But maybe that's what she loves about him, exactly. and she likes that he's over the top. And look, when she was defending him, it, to me, it was pretty clear that she loves him, and they've been together for ten years. They have two kids, like clearly whatever it is that's going on between them, it's working. So even though I'm an atheist, God bless, <laughs> go forward and enjoy your life together, right? But um, yeah, you're right. The reason why we're talking about this is because it's kind of fun to watch other people deal with controversy. <laughs> Instead of us for a change. No, there's a lot of reasons, but it's so fun. So hey guys, I love the levity in your life. Okay, in a wedding vows, just bring it down, bring it down a notch, bring it down a notch, and then we're all good. But the most important thing is stop beating up people online when they're just regular schmoes. Okay, so wish them the, luck. The person who officiated my wedding was uh, Jank Uger, and the best part about Jank officiating was how unbelievably awkward he looked True. as Christian and I were exchanging vows. He's just like. I don't know what to do. What's what's an officiant supposed to do? Like, I'm like it's that in mom. the video. He's just like, 
Yeah, I'm like that mom in the video. Like, I don't know. I, I grounded them later. I don't. I didn't know what I was <laughs> like, supposed to do. Like Christian, Christian's a very sensitive soul, and so as he was like reading the vows, he's crying and like, oh, Jake was so uncomfortable, and it was great. I loved it. <laughs> in my wedding, Steve-O, who used to work here, was the officiant, and he started crying. So the officiant is crying, everybody's crying. That's the sweetest thing I've heard about Steve. <laughs> Everybody in the studio laughs having worked with Steve. No, <laughs> no, uh, look, to each his own, to each his own. I pardon all of you, am mm. I not merciful? Let love and let live, that's, mm. the, that's the quote, right? No, let, it's live and let die, and then no. and then that got turned into live and let love. No, I'm not even sure about that. So I retracted then. Okay, yeah, but we you can make it your own. Okay, I mean you did invent you do you boo. I want to have a wedding again. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.